Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurologist from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the book Focused Neurology. My email is sriklpm at gmail.com. Today we are going to talk about a very very interesting topic, the rule of 17. Rule of 17 Cranial Nerves Part 70 Hypoglossal Nerve 12th Nerve Part 1. So clinical anatomy of the 12th cranial nerve and the rule of 70. First let's talk about the clinical anatomy of the 12th nerve and then talk about the rule of 17. Clinical anatomy of the 12th nerve. The hypoglossal nerve is a purely motor nerve supplying the tongue. The tongue has extrinsic and intrinsic muscles. So what are the extrinsic muscles and what are the intrinsic muscles? The intrinsic muscles arise and end within the tongue. The intrinsic muscles arise and end within the tongue. They turn the non-protruded tip from side to side. They turn the non-protruded tip from side to side. Whereas the extrinsic muscles arise from outside, example chin, and inserts into the tongue, example genioglossus. The extrinsic muscles protrude and retract the tongue. Let's talk about the genioglossus muscle because it's very unique. It is the largest and most important of the extrinsic tongue muscles. The supranuclear control to the genioglossus muscle is primarily crossed. It gets its supply from the contralateral side. The posterior fibers on one side push the tongue towards the opposite side. So the function of the genioglossus is to push the tongue towards the opposite side. A very important concept. So sometimes we tend to get confused between the side of the movement if there is a 12th nerve lesion, 5th nerve lesion or a 10th nerve lesion or a 7th nerve lesion. How to remember it? Easy way of remembering all these concepts is by a rule known as rule of 17. 12 plus 5 is also 17. 10 plus 7 is also 17. So 12 plus 5 is equal to 17. 10 plus 7 is equal to 17. So if 12th nerve and function and 5th nerve are affected, the movement will be will be same together. Whereas if 10th nerve and 7th nerve are affected, the movement of those two muscles are respectively similar. So what are the movements? How are the movements affected if 12th, 5th, 10th and 7th nerves are affected? In lesions of 12th and 5th nerves, the affected parts move towards the deceased and the involved side. You remember I just told that the 12th cranial nerve supplies the genioglossus which pushes the tongue to the opposite side. So when the 12th nerve gets affected, the tongue moves towards a deceased side. Likewise, 5th nerve, trigeminal nerve pushes the pterygoid to the opposite side. So if 5th nerve gets affected, pterygoid or the jaw moves towards the same side, that is the deceased side. So if 12th nerve or 5th nerve are affected, the movement will be towards the deceased and the involved side. If 10th nerve gets affected, the palate will move towards the healthier side. Likewise, if 7th nerve gets affected, the movement will be towards the healthier side, the angle of the mouth. So in lesions of the 10th and 7th nerve, the affected parts move towards the healthy and the uninvolved side. So if you remember this, very easy to remember all the kind, all the types of movements when 12th, 5th, 10th and 7th nerves are affected. If 12th and 5th nerve gets affected, the movement will be towards the diseased side or the involved side. If 10th and 7th nerve gets affected, the movement will be towards the healthy and the un uninvolved side. 12 plus 5 is 17 and 10 plus 7 is also 17. So if you remember this rule of 17, very easy to remember all these facts. So these are the interesting concepts of the rule of 17. I hope you have enjoyed listening to these concepts. The other important concepts of neurology, I have put it in a question answer format in the book Focused Neurology written by me, Dr. S. Srinivas. This book is available online from all leading booksellers including Amazon. If you are interested, this book could be purchased online. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this rule of 17. If you have enjoyed it, please like and share the link. But 
please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my every page, Dr. Srinivas Concepts. Thank you. Bye.